Aloha, and thank you for joining me today. Hey, I want to welcome you to Lahaina because you can now come to Maui. We're open, we've got flights coming, and I want to tell you all about it right now. Hi folks, I'm Steve with Maui Travel Videos. Hey, you can now come to Maui. Today is Sunday, October 18th. So we've been open two or three days. And in fact, I've got some numbers for you here. On Thursday, we had 2,981 people come to the island. Let me show you the press release on MauiNow.com, right over here. So we had 2,981 people. Of those, 2,156 are visitors and 825 are residents. So we now have people coming to Maui. Okay, folks, there are four major airlines that you need to check on if you're thinking about coming on over to Maui. The first one is Hawaiian Airlines. They are probably the biggest and maybe the most well organized right at the moment. The next one I think you've got to take a look at is United Airlines. I know that they're doing some testing at the airport, I think at the check-in counter. So you want to check on them also. The third one would be American Airlines. And then the fourth one, which actually has got quite a few flights coming over at the moment, is Alaskan Airlines. So those are the main four. I've got them right down below so you don't forget them. Those are the four major airlines coming. Now, all of them have various different types of testing. Some of them are at the airport, at the desk, the counter, the check-in for the flight. Some of them are close to the airport. They're drive-up, drive-through kind of situation. Others, you've got to go to a CVS, a Walgreens, uh, Kaiser Permanente. So there's all kinds of ways to get your pre-travel pre -travel test that you are negative and it needs to be 72 hours or less from the departure. Now one thing that's kind of not known a lot is if you get a little bit short on time and you don't really have the result, come on to Maui, they'll put you in quarantine status and it may take 24 hours for you to get your negative result. In, in fact, it doesn't come back negative, then you're already in quarantine. So go ahead and come on over. I believe the airlines will all let you on. They'll just have you in quarantine status until you get the results back. Some of the places can take one, two, three days to get the results. So the main thing you need to do is check with each airline and understand how they're operating on the pre-travel test that eliminates the need for the 14-day quarantine. Another thing, folks, some people have asked me about this, about traveling between the islands, coming from here, going to Kauai, here to the Big Island. Let me tell you, right at the moment, that's still up in the air a little bit. I saw some press releases today on Sunday the 18th may have to get tested a little bit. Each island, especially Kauai, and a little bit on the Big Island and maybe Maui, is kind of setting its own rules a little bit as to people coming from other islands, whether they need to be retested again or not. So you might try and think about coming to Maui and just staying here. I know a lot of people want to go to Oahu and hang out at uh, Waikiki Beach and Nanama Bay and the North Shore, all that. You may not be able to do it, or you may just have to get retested here on Maui to then go to some of the other islands. So you're going to need to check on that. Like I said a little bit earlier, man, you're going to have to do a little bit more due diligence and trust on your ability to get accurate information not always relying on the airlines or what you're reading in the press. So be real careful, be real diligent. If you have any questions, certainly shoot me a message. Also, make sure you subscribe to Maui Now. I'll put it right here, MauiNow.com. That's really where I get all my information. Hey, so what's open here on the west side? Now, Kihei's got a lot of places, they're spread out. 
but I live here on the west side and I'm gonna go up and down Front Street showing you all the places that are open. Also, I'm gonna run up to Kana Pali, uh, up to the Whalers Village up that way, kind of show you some of the resorts, some of that, just give you an idea. The biggest thing is at the end of today's show, I am going to list all the restaurants, all the activities, all of the hotels, every bit of information that I have from the uh, Maui Now website, I'll put that at the end of the show so you can see all the restaurants that are open. And I gotta tell you, right now, some of them are open like four nights a week. Some of them are only open four to eight. All of them are various, all of them are different, but they're all changing literally each day. So come on, let's go walk around Lahaina Town and let me give you a feel for what's open today on Sunday, the 18th of October, with more and more stuff opening every day. Before I leave the park here next to the harbor, I want to show you something you won't see anywhere else. And it's not really a good view of it, but that in front of you is a birthing stone. It actually looks like kind of a wingback chair right there in front of you, where over 400 births occurred in the early Hawaiian days. There's a plaque here talking about the Haola stone. Haola literally means giving birth or loosely translated to extending life and good health. So there's what it looks like in lower tide. Looks like a wingback chair to me. So when you're down here at the harbor, kind of on the north end, all the kids are jumping off the pier there, walk over to this park next to Pioneer Inn. There's a library right over here and you'll see the birthing stone. You gotta come take a look at that. Every woman dreams of giving birth on a birthing stone. I'm at 505 Shopping Complex. Three places open here. Here is Spanky's Riptide Sports Bar. Betty's Beach Cafe is also open, but only from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Just a short period of time and I believe they're closed two days a week, so check their website. Also in the back there along the beach, Pacifico Restaurant, one of the upscale, really nice restaurants. They're gonna be opening up soon, so check their website also. One of the best pizza takeout places here in Lahaina Town is Prison Street Pizza. You can also eat outside, but this is an excellent pizza that you can take home or take it to the beach. Here's the famous banyan tree in Lahaina Town. You gotta see this when you come to Maui and especially on the west side here in Lahaina Town. As I pan around, this might be the largest kind of complex for restaurants. This is the Wharf Cinema Center. There's five, six, seven places here and I'll tell you all about them in just a sec. I'm walking along the banyan tree just a little bit. I want to show you one of my favorite places to eat across the street from the southern edge of the banyan tree. It's called Pa'ia Fish Market. Here's Pa'ia Fish Market. They've got three locations on the island. The original one, of course, was out in Pa'ia. There's one down in Kihei, but here's the one in Lahaina Town. Dine in, dine out. Excellent fish, really good price too. I'm going to walk back up here just a little bit, not very far, to the Wharf Cinema Center. So here's the Wharf Cinema Center. I'm looking right at Cool Cat Cafe up above second level to your right. Recognized every year as probably the best burger on Maui. 
going to pan over here a little bit up on the second floor right here is Captain Jack's. You're going to go to Captain Jack's because they're famous for their cheesesteak sandwich and I think their fish and chips are real popular also. Hey, notice the ABC store is still not open yet. On the lower level is a Amigos Mexican restaurant. There's an Indian curry restaurant. There's a Thai restaurant. There's also a coffee shop. So there's several places underneath. Mexican, Thai. I think also there may be a Vietnamese pho restaurant still open. Several restaurants, coffee shop underneath these big restaurants up above. Probably the most well-known place here, most popular place, is down the hatch at the Wharf Cinema Center. A good happy hour, really good food, open for breakfast. Guy Fieri's been over here a couple times doing reviews of them. Really popular, really good, open air, good place to come. Also an ice cream place open across the street from the Banyan Tree and the Wharf Cinema Center is Banyan Treats. Some places are still closed, but some places are starting to open up. ABC store is still closed but Lahaina Pizza is now open and they're located across from the seawall over here gorgeous view of the ocean up on the second level Sunglass Hut is open Also, the Whaler's Locker is open. A lot of scrimshaw, some fun things in there. The Dirty Monkey is open. It's a Sunday, so there's NFL football. It's doing pretty well. Down this way, most places are still closed a little bit. There's a couple of t-shirt places over on the left open and like I said folks places are going to start opening up here real soon they are building very quickly here in the corner the old Hard Rock Cafe location that is gonna be a Tommy Bahama restaurant right there and then next to it is one of my favorites one of our newer places is Waikiki Brewing they are open also. Make sure you always have a mask with you. Can't get inside without that. And then lastly, down here on the very north end of Front Street is Pie Artisan Pizza. I, Pie Artisan Pizzeria right here. And there's a lot of places to eat here on Front Street. A lot of places open. You're not going to starve. Frida's 2 to 8 p.m. Thursday through Sunday. It's got a line out the door. And another place up here. I don't think Honu Seafood and Pizza is open yet. Let me see if these ladies go in there. Don't think it's open. No, they're not open yet. But Mala Ocean Tavern is open. Right here. Dine in and take out. And look at that new patio area they've got. Man, that is beautiful. Look at this sunset. Mala Ocean Tavern, you gotta come to this. That is beautiful. They have done an excellent job with that. Right on the edge of the ocean, and they're gonna get a gorgeous sunset.
Aloha folks, hey, I am back in Lahaina Town. I did run up to Whaler's Village up at the Kanapali Resort area. Nothing's open, so I'm not gonna really show you anything there. I did get a really nice sunset right here, beautiful sunset. Let me share that with you. Guess where I'm at, folks? I am at the Thirsty Turtle. I'm not open yet. I hope to open in mid-November maybe the last week of November so when you come to Maui and I know you're coming soon because I just told you how to get here without the quarantine I look forward to seeing you not only on the island but come by make sure I get a chance to meet you at the Thirsty Turtle hey like always please subscribe you don't want to miss anything I'm gonna go do some more beaches here now and also leave some comments ring the bell and I look forward to seeing you real soon here on Maui. Thank you very much. Thank you.